Roger was A spec K counter plan base. Yeah. Specify the agent in the plan text. This is not a T violation. We're not setting a debate norm for this topic and how we treat the phrase United States. This has to be a voting issue. First, is it establishes the norm. No one will follow without a competitive incentive. Second, this good topic is ADT. With this reason to turn a turn people attention to additionally, the top selections coming up for next year might use the same agent. Third, is it's the only remedy are often spaced on pre run concerns that can be corrected anyway after we start the one and see definition of the claim function as unique as the United States can mean a ton of different actors, accommodations, the literature doesn't agree on what the United States means, which means that the agent will always remain unspecified. Third, if she gives you public policies, the federal government or the states government will be a four key piece of offense. The first precision, which actually legalizes our language, only has serious implications for every aspect of the discussion. The pro con education is useless without a precise understanding of how legalization can be caused because any sort of regulation set put on airline gambling or how it interrelates with treaties is vastly affected by who, who legally does it. Second is disclosure. Current norms cannot adapt effectively. First is pre round saying the same plain text means nothing when in cross examination just say it was a different agent each time makes different strategy possible. Second is on the wiki pre term research is impossible when cross examination is not posted. Third is competitive equity. One agent term is put the resolution they have to choose the best agent, uh, not ignore the agent discussion now. Uh, uh, you should have uh, a default mechanism because there are four kinds of fraud forward device. First is structure that the question debate analyzed more than the question. Second is topical. This resolution is already five topics they need to defend nearly all. Uh, so that third is community norms condition is more fragile. I'm referring to questions on the two-making NATO strategy generally. The stress points to pair black vote percentages on the rights of the last year's NAC round three was 35 affluence, uh, two, three negative agent counter plans for uh, uh, bad first objective counter plan, not the norm. If they win their bad, we can exclude them anyway. It doesn't take out our grounds for arguments because defending the status quo is dependent upon the agent. Additionally, they're good because they're important topic issues of federalism and mechanisms are crucial uh, to the issue. And it's key to equalize the United States. Tons of give, uh, give the F grounds for the best agents. We have to show the competition uh, based on those uh, recent ability. It doesn't make sense because this isn't a team relation. Re explanation application the one hour is too new. It's, uh, yes, no question. You either didn't or did, you did or didn't specify your issue. There's the reasonable piece of the links to uh, our office reasonable. Just justifies a lack of an Asian clarity. Uh, it's just as bad. Additionally, it kills norms are too subjective to make a conscientious norm, uh, which means it's necessary. Neil. Not going for a prestige just as com just as competition. It wasn't uh, conditional. It was dispositional, which means that our condition our arguments uh, not a general public. Don't have to go for because they made a permutation, but their new liberals will never argue this one. It will be important on another floor. The consequences are versus ethics. Uh, should have before consequences because of ethics, uh, but it forms the consequences that we care about uh, in the first place. Which means you should define the actions we do. This is just the consequences are always dependent upon predictions, but we always know the ethicality of your particular discussion. Initially, even if they when consequences are first, all of the offense will run for that sounds like hey, offense is really about what consequences we should be caring about. Is it war consequences or other consequences? Now they're framing arguments directed uh, by the other parties in the first is that uh, we don't. Fiat so also is just a question of how we teach policy making the education uh, that began from that. The political investment we make and the things we decide to care about so definitely applies to the education arguments plus that will be answered in the one on the phone picture and now the other kind of plan. This kind of plan solves the entirety of the those cards on that. Like, government on the floor, they've conceded, the entirety of the WTO, which has the, uh, has, has the, uh, the, it has the Supreme Court make up the WTO trade treaty self executing, which means we saw the entirety advantage, it doesn't matter if we didn't answer, there's only possibly something else to the econ advantage, but I will answer this so internally in some case. Plus, we saw literally two internally to the bank's advantage, I'll explain them now. One internally is that the bank would like a lot of extra funds that could be made if there was on the gambling. The second is that there's a bad legal structure that's defined. We may not solve the first internally, but they definitely don't solve the second internally. They said they only have the states act. If you read their internally, it talks about the reason. Why banks, have, banks won't be trusted by people is because they because there's there are differing definitions of what online gambling is because the states are the ones who are making the decision. The counter plan has the US not only ban online gambling but define it in the first place. So there's a stable national definition of what online gambling functions means we are the only ones who solve the second internal link. They have access to additionally there's not a solitude differential between how much funding that sector needs. It's not about to collapse or you need services. Mr. Redis says if they do collapse, they'll be too big to fail. But initially, even if they win that claim is true and a collapse is coming, the fact that there was a bail last time they were too big to fail means it doesn't even matter. The permutation do both those makes sense because it's an anti topical permutation. We include banning online gambling, which is obviously not a lot of makes it a uh, makes the tempest permutation to the absolute movie target kills any sort of negative uh, affairs additionally equal cruise and access to any sort of negative matter political songs deficit the uh, card is the same card as the one AC and additionally it closes part of it is the, the argument about the EU being met us in the context of quote as a last resort the United States has the option of ignoring the issue and maintaining our current position on the DOJ where as earlier the card says that quote the United States could address it by either leveling the playing field for all internet service providers or by banning these providers uh, uh, off the hit uh, how, out any discriminatory measures additionally even if uh, they, when we don't specially solve the legal questions around uh, the WHO and the UIGEA uh, uh, they uh, we uh yeah, we decided to solve her last game eight.
Now you want to appear ruling the US as its relationship with foreign Western powers is not bound by foreign writers or about the UIGA with the US and the direct conflict of economic powers will watch the UIGA. They found that due to your principles, still be able to release the US can restrict gambling. The US can restrict gambling, but most do so without discriminating against foreign competitors. The UIGA allows operations states to have legal asylum gambling to be followed under interstate. It translates to gambling to the effect of allowing online gambling with the state to the exclusion of foreign operators. Mark that foreign operators traditionally there's an independent benefit to, to banning gambling because gambling is just awful and should be discouraged. There are a couple of arguments here. First is in the context of neoliberalism. Our subject and how we define ourselves is based on how we consume. The fact that online gambling accelerates the way in which we consume is necessary. Like bad for people, second is it causes things like debt uh, within the families, uh, uh, death within families, bankruptcy, loss of credit, uh, a bunch of bad stuff. Third is it hurts social relations. People go do things like gambling, is it working their families, that causes uh, uh, a surplus of lives, means that people don't have trust with those uh, around them, they come with drug abortions, and is disproportionately impacted on uh, two groups. First is minority, groups like Native Americans, second is uh, poor groups, which makes it a functionally regressive tax. I'm not making this up, here's evidence for it. Right, the 13 parts may be global, but the impacts are excessive, low, 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 the most obvious initiative of the white threat impact of user credit and you have against the technology that exchange the free shoot out of the media pleasure for consumption can help be seen as a source of harm itself but when it's not social or relationships something lost again which creates emotional withdrawal from social identity global loss of trust in the unrind of the individual tends to be a cause for the particular communities which is likely being described as a rest of form of taxation and stuff to be only scarce and unequal social economic geographic distribution is more than normal in society living in the portion of the we spend but it was the highest ultimate amounts of income we find a horrible distribution of harms which cause a cascade down low income and think my minority communities additionally uh, additionally, we saw the trade advantage better than the evidence in case that there are a bunch of things uh, that make people uh, want to be matched to try things like human rights abuse, human rights abuses, and their currency manipulation means the U.S. will always try and target them. However, uh, uh, Congress can always just ignore or uh, they, they don't affect this policy beyond just one decision that we decided to comply with. It means the Congress will still have general uh, uh, threats towards disobeying, uh, disobeying China. However, we have the Supreme Court take authority over Congress because Congress no longer has the authority to disobey because legally they are bound uh, to follow uh, suit because of self executing. Additionally, apparently proving that people will try and bash China. This is uh, TNA English and 12 times, has been demonized all years by the human community. China actually still trading their affairs with any affection of voters to use the foreign tradition Using China as a threat and having common uh, common trade crisis relations, also critical Chinese human rights. Means the only uh, internal and China relations is one in which China has done the internally differential rate of the bank's advantage is actually more important than anything because they you know, only internally to the financial institutions actually collapse because if people make a run on the banks because they think that the banks uh, the banks are the ones who are being the police officers deciding what is illegal and illegal, the constant definition uh, the capital establishes uh, so they say pigs are bad. Uh, one, the fact that they applied uh, pigs bad to a counterpoint, I'm pretty sure includes none of the F proves that a pig could be literally any counterpoint in the theory. Uh, Radical argument can never be uh, effectively pushed to the bank plus it doesn't apply to the answer in the one of our banks ban. I already did a bunch of stuff on the other folks so why they have a bad return link. <laughs> a bad, bad return link to banks and the two banks in the first, in the first place. But here, I'll send the impact defense to a climate change that we see that there's a cognitive device in favor of environmental impacts because we think it sounds super, super, super often as empirically exaggerated by the media, which is why we should default to this problem that makes it just such a good. We assume there are 100 degrees of William says that even if that happens, there will be two important things. One is there aren't actually positive feedbacks, aren't uh, sudden bursts like methane bursts or, or, or things are going to go across because negative feedback loops counter them uh, equally. They have no reason as to why uh, positive feedback loops are any more likely because people just make conflicting predictions about which things will happen and at what time frame they will happen. Usually, you default to adaptation solves because things like technology and innovation always uh, uh, maintain the ability to re uh, resist, uh, what the, uh, resist what they're doing or uh, what they're doing. Additionally, have no reason why the status quo is sufficient to solve clean tech investment there. Uh, it really gets, uh, is predicated off of uh, the U.S. only. There's no reason why international and financial institutions will not be sufficient to solve. Just they have to have a warrant as to why people like China and India are going to get on board the one of why it doesn't put it by the criticism now. Uh, uh, there are two parts to the criticism. Uh, uh, the first part is uh, the fact that they use conflict security discourse. Their evidence is cut from a uh, uh, conflict as its implications on national security. The second is the use of an existential threat as a way to rally people around the flag. The one or not, I will explain the second part. The one or not will take the uh, other part of the problem with the extinction rhetoric is that it's expressing mobilized people around around the flag. In fact, that's when we talk about the process when uh, we move people to action. The problem is that, uh, yes, historically, uh, environmental movements have been super uh, anti black and such, so that card is just about the past. But in any case, the things like the black uh, communities that exist now have a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to white environmental movements. It means that people just say, hey, hey extinction, the environment it affects all of us. There is a problem with getting those people on board. It means those white uh, those movements always uh, support white interests. It means the likely the global uh, sort of solutions that even they would be able to propose would uh, uh, be the expense of the black population, the third world, uh, etc. They say reputation don't come first. Their card is terrible. And it is uh, just in case that uh, representation should the only thing we look at uh, yeah, representation should not be the only thing we look at. Not that uh, they don't have any effect on our evidence. It's uh, substantially more specific on the way that the representation is affected not only the environmental movements, uh, but the other. The second thing piece of evidence is the impact claim uh, for our argument indicates that uh, necessarily there's an ethical obligation to do things like uh, call it whiteness in the way it manifests itself. Uh, in, in the, in the, in, uh, uh, the whiteness in the way it manifests itself in sort of environmental movements of ethics uh, should come first. Uh, additionally, I'll read a card on the climate conflict to save talks of time. Your argument comes from our narrative history that is rooted in colonialism and racism and is functionally a racist stereotype and it should be rejected. Uh, Harvard 10. Climate refugees and conflict nerves are on their own colonial stereotypes to protect their world out of peasants and encourage pressing the power of Western policy materials and addition to the economic resistance to the internet. The environmental refugee concept has never struck me as a natural choice. The economic political cost of the environmental degradation mass of both industry responses to it applied to the questions in favor of the more regime and great controls of enterprise hard to depolitize the concept of displacement. So the states would have an obligation to provide the solid environmental refugees were increasingly portrayed as a security threat, even though there are little serious restrictions in the countries. See, the first canary to call mine up for a fortune of climate policy driven chaos. I will mark that card of
know, it justifies a policy in which the United States government says we need to go in there because those refugees are, are moving around, which is the problem in the first place. Uh, yeah, process. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, what ground do you lose on a spec from us not specifying? Right. So it's thus about like there's an argument we couldn't have read, and it's more about arguments we could have read. We're not prepared. You weren't because... prepared to debate a state's a gambling counter plan at the NDT. Yeah. The question is, given that it could have been a state's app, could have been a federal government app, it could have been an interstate compact app. But you read you your agent counter plan. You read and the that's not the app. Hmm? You read the agent counterpoint no, and said yeah, that's not the app. How does no. that prove sufficient we, ground? We have the Supreme Court do yeah, something, not fine. the app. Counterplay. So the current policy evidence we read makes the claim that the future of the WTO and world trade is based upon e commerce. What does the counterplan do to free up e commerce, like for, for different internationally? What do you mean? The Carvalho's evidence makes yeah. the claim that yeah. all trade is going to be yeah. conducted in the internet. Yeah. How does the plan set a precedent that countries should open up their internets to other nations? What do you mean? It's not like we say the internet can't happen between countries. We can't. There's but the plan, the counter plan says the president that we should close off our e-commerce services to other nations. There's not How do you solve the internet? That that's a car bomb. That's fine. That's a car bomb. 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 You make a whole bunch of claims as to how uh, gambling is neoliberalistic and it leads to families spending a humongous amount of money. Do you mm -hmm. mean a piece of evidence that says banning would be effective at preventing individuals from gaining access to the internet? Well, because so, the status yeah, quo yeah, is so, banning so, gambling. Why yeah, yeah, is it so right now? The status quo is that you can, like, in the U.S., use your phone to access like a server in Great Britain. Okay, it's banned in like 47. No, yes, it is committing states. a crime, but it is still possible. The problem, the difference is. Why would banning be effective at preventing individuals from gaining access to all oversight, like overseas? I mean, the secondary thing is that states have conflicting laws as to what sort of things are illegal, whereas. No. 47 states completely ban online gambling. That's okay, that's yeah, fine. I mean, uh, yeah, there, there's the a lack of clarity when you live in one state, but maybe yeah, that's fine. another. Our warming places. evidence makes the claim that if the shock evidence makes the claim that there is some warming rhetoric that exists in the government now, why wouldn't that be sufficient to trigger the United States um, over, going overseas to prevent these refugee flows? That you yeah, I'm going to take most of the framework arguments. So one, we think that like within this debate around, it should be about perfecting the way we do climate policy, right? Perfecting so we should be teaching the way people we do in the debate change. to do climate policy in an effective way. The fact that government's being what like, piece of evidence do you read that says that talking about warming outside of the context of the federal government? No, is we, a more effective means of discussing the government. The question is, policy. what are the justifications for our climate yeah. policies? Because what are the justifications for our warming our climate policies? You yeah, haven't specific to discussions within the federal government. Why evidence you says that in debate yeah. rounds, learning about the implications also, of global warming is a bad thing. that indicates mobilization from discussions like this. We think that those mobilizations should not be centered around extinction rhetoric. Yes. Okay, then what piece of evidence do you read that thinks that makes the claim that movements would occur in the status quo absent these warming rhetoric, the re warming representations? One, there's a separate framing argument that neither of us are actually accessing the government, but when we're simulating, we should do the simulations in the correct way. Yes, I Any understand. Why My question is, how do you lead to movements against warming in the status quo if you don't gain access to a raw evidence that it's necessary? 